I'm Mike Tolliver. Hope Worldwide began in 1991 with three programs in three countries and a budget of just $600,000. Today, Hope is now at work in 80 different countries around the world with a budget of $40 million. Each year, Hope serves a whopping 2 million people in need. And for those of us in the ICOC, Hope Worldwide is our charity, and we're proud of it. Let's begin in Africa as we learn more about your Hope Worldwide. This is Dr. Mark Ottenwell. I'm Director of Development for Africa for Hope Worldwide and a senior HIV AIDS specialist. And I want to talk a little bit about the children of Africa. Right now, we have 16 million orphans in Africa right now. Your Hope Worldwide has helped 148,000 children in eight African countries with health care, education, counseling, uh, character building, child protection, and uh, given them a lot of the things they need to be successful in life. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your support. In North America, Hope Worldwide has over 120 chapters associated with local congregations of the ICOC. After Hurricane Sandy hit New York, over 1,300 Hope Worldwide volunteers came together in response. On October 29th, Monday, October 29th, Superstorm Sandy hit the coast of New York and New Jersey. But I got a call from Antonio Boyd of Hope Worldwide, who sent me to talk to um, representatives from the Red Cross at a food distribution site that they were setting up in the south part of Staten Island. Disciples of Jesus want to get out and help people. Your Hope Worldwide gives them the opportunity to go and do the very thing they want to do anyway. Disciples are eager to help. Your Hope Worldwide provides that opportunity and gives them an avenue to go and love people just like Jesus did. Several years ago, Hope Worldwide began sending medical brigades to Central America. What began as something simple evolved to include community service and teaching English as a second language. Walter Kutkowski explains. Uh, we started community service brigades in January 2010. Since that time, we have served uh, over 5,300 children uh, with pediatric examinations and over 5,800 adults with examinations, medical examinations, as well as, as have dispensed uh, almost 23,000 prescriptions. I've gone to 13 out of 15 brigades. For me, it's like a passion. I love being a nurse. At the brigades, I can give back. It's not just about making money for me, but it's about doing something for someone else. Your Hope Worldwide enables people like me to use my professional skills to serve people inside and outside the church all over the world. In Cambodia, through God's power and your generosity, Hope has started and is now running two hospitals to provide health care in an extremely poor part of the world. Gary Jacques serves as a doctor at one of these hospitals, and when a mother brought in her dying child, Hope was there to help. A month ago on my last visit to Cambodia, I met the mother and a daughter. The story of this child was that she was diagnosed by our hospital a year ago with uh, a congenital heart disease. She needed surgery and we had referred her in fact already to a, a pediatric surgeon but they declined to operate saying that she was too weak and malnourished. When I asked this mother how that made her feel she said I have I have no hope whatsoever that my child will live and I said to her listen I can't tell you your child's you know total future but I could tell you one thing we can help you with this nutrition we can help you overcome you know, the infections that are plaguing your child. We can get her strong enough to go get that surgery. So today, if we do nothing else, we want to give you hope. Your Hope Worldwide saves children like this every day. They do it in Cambodia, they do it in Bolivia, they do it around the world. Your Hope Worldwide pays so that people like Dr. Jocks and others can go do this. Your Hope Worldwide shows the world the love of Jesus. There's lots of things that are going on about Hope Worldwide that we want you to know. This is your Hope Worldwide, and we want you to know all the good that we do on your behalf. The Bible
Bible commands us to remember the poor, and Hope Worldwide has done an outstanding job now for 22 years. As we all prepare for the 2013 International Day of Giving in November, it is time for us in the ICOC to step up and support Hope Worldwide like never before. The goal is for every member to give $52 or $1 per week. Churches are running races, having garage sales, getting creative. People around the world are counting on us. And God has brought Hope Worldwide so far over the last 22 years. Let's continue to shine our light brightly as a church through our benevolent arm, Your Hope Worldwide. <music>